I, I think we might be a little too heavy for that. I don't know why all of a sudden it's being really iffy. Alright, we'll see. Um, so then after that, I had like three days the next week because then we got on Christmas vacation. That was a nice, very relaxing. <laughs> that was very relaxing. I had, I needed it. Um, but I, I don't, I don't know what play we're doing this Thursday, this Tuesday. It's going to be Tuesday, January 23rd. I got to walk down there. Um, I don't know what play we're doing. It's a, it's a smaller play. Uh, the way that the drama club works is during the, uh, I always like to call it the first quarter of the first semester of the year. Uh, they do like a two hour, you know, two hour play, usually, or one and a half hour to two hour play. You know, one of the longer ones that have intermission. And then for the second play, they have a smaller play. Our last one we did was 20 minutes. Um, and well, when I was in it, last year, when I was in eighth grade, I was in the drama club and we did superheroes how to interact with human beings. Some might say it was kind of a dumb play, uh, but the reason it's so small is because they perform it at the elementary schools and they need enough time to do it. So, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what we're doing this time. I know it's a smaller play. I think it's like about building character or something. I don't know how you remember what all these knobs and switches do, Captain. Yeah, to be honest, I don't even know how I remember. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, that's going to be kind of busy. Um, and then on February 27th, I think it is, I have a band concert. Then on March 7th, the middle school band concert is. And I'm going to ask Miss, my music teacher, because I was never in the drama, or not drama, I was never in the middle school band program. Uh, I'm going to see if I can probably join in for their concert, just so I can fill out that I was in band in middle, just so that I can fill out that I have middle school band experience. So, that'll be fun. Still got a lot of fuel left. Look at this, we're flying straight on. We're about halfway now. I do not know how long this video is. All right, let's, let's fill in some hot food. With drinks as well, again, just another service round. I don't know. What if somebody didn't want the cold sandwiches? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, we are now serving drinks. Man. Oh my god. Look, California is still dark. That reminds me, what time is it? It's 4.34 4 p.m. So that means that at right now, in California, it's only 12 p.m. So it's like, yeah. oh my God, sorry if you just heard that. I totally, like, just bashed my nose against the microphone. Uh, it's getting kind of warm here in Ohio. Uh, flight level 305. Not flight level. I hear you. There's the lake just up there. You can kind of see it. JetBlue, let's see what we got. Do we have any 747s? No, we don't. We have a Delta. Oh, a brother. We got a brother here. Oh, is this O'Hare? I think this is O... Not O'Hare. This is Midway. This isn't Midway. No, this is not O'Hare. What'd you say? Bombardier. A Star Alliance. Alright, I guess <laughs> this guy must disagree with the other controller. Let me see if I can... Oh, an American Eagle. I actually have the livery, I think, for this one. In, uh, for the Aerosoft version of this. Star Alliance Jazz. Yes. All right. 
spirit. Wow, that is a nice livery. Is this the new livery, like a 2017 livery? Frontier. I like it. Oh, and there's the two Delta 777s with a smaller uh, CRJ Delta right there. That's not a CRJ. I know it's not. A... <laughs> Look at this one. Uh, This might be O'Hare. Man, look at this huge airport. This is definitely O'Hare. We got a smaller CRJ over there. Douglas. When are we going to have Douglas DC-12s? Uh, not DC-12s. MD-11s. The Embraer JetBlue. Let's make sure everything's going well in our cockpit. Because if I know my Airbus... The Airbus can go from like 10 to 0. Look at this. Do do they still use this? I, I don't think they would use it. It looks really old. American Eagle. Citation. These are like general aviation crafts. It's got to be O'Hare. 737. I Oh, look. There's, there's O'Hare. Midway should just be over there. It is foggy. This is not exciting. There's a... Uh, Look at, that, look at that jet trail up there. That looks amazing. Just way up there. I don't think they use this livery anymore, do they? There's a Delta 747. 747. 737. Rest in peace to the Delta 747 as of 2017. All 747s have been taken out of service of Delta Airlines. Rip. No me gusta. I do not like. I, they need to add the MD-11. You know how awesome that would be? Gulfstream. Oh, I am glad that didn't explode. Is this like an Air Force One? <clears throat> you just hear my voice crack there? My goodness. 767. It's got to be uh, O'Hare. Looks too big not to be. Oh man, buildings are a little jittery here. Hey, but I mean, I guess that works even if it wasn't there, right? U.S. Airways, rest in peace, uh, U.S. Airways as of uh, 2015. Ten o'clock. I see it just over there. Toddy just said Lima Center. He's gonna say, "What's Lima Center? Where's that at?" Sun's rising. Pretty good ice. You know what I like about these liveries is that the engines are actually moving. You see that? An old livery. Oh no! Cancel. Please, I was afraid that I just minimized out of my game. That would have been irritating as crap. There's a lot of deltas over here. Look, it's like literally the same delta we're flying. That's awesome. I just noticed that. There it is, the delta delta A319. Where are we right now? I'm trying to give you some geography. All right, so we should be crossing over shortly. Delta really is enjoying their A319s over here. Seven three seven, with that MD eleven. I think no, that's not an MD eleven. What is that? It's not an MD eleven. Hold on a second. What is what is that one? I know I I know what that is. It's an MD. I want to say it's an eleven. My goodness. Hold on. Maybe it is an eleven. MD. But that's that's the trijet, right? Yeah, that's the trijet. 
that's the one that has the secondary engine. Like, if you look at this one, it's like it had an engine just right up here. Maybe it's an MD-80. Maybe it's an MD-80. Yeah, it's an MD-80. That one's an MD-80. Uh, MD-80. I don't, I don't think they make the MD-80s anymore now, do they? 504 miles an hour? Yeah, there's Delta. DC-9. It was updated from the DC-9. Maybe that's a DC-9? No. No, I didn't... <coughs> Hold on, I'm trying to search up these aircrafts. We are, like, right on that line. Oh, the MD-11. Oh, MD-9. It's like... Maybe that is an MD-9. That's an MD-9. The one we were just looking at? Oh, my God. Ow, that hurts. Douglas DC-8. Boeing 727. A trijet. DC-3. The Douglas DC-3 is, like, the old uh, World War II... Uh, World War II, um, it's like the, the DC-3, is that what I said, the DC-3? Yes, the Douglas DC-3 is like the old, uh, military parachuting aircraft. Boeing 7, Boeing 717. It was originally marketed as the McDonnell Douglas MD-95, apparently. Oh, maybe that was a Boeing 717. Maybe that was a Boeing 717. They look a lot alike. It's kind of hard to tell. Last one was produced in 2006. So I can't say that we're going to be seeing those ones. Douglas DC-7, DC-4. Oh my god, the Douglas DC-2. That's like a... That's, oh yeah, that's, that's got to be like a pure parachuter one. Like the Tupac 2154, which is kind of like the, it's just like, it's a Russian trijet. Oh, sorry, yep, I'm doing it. I heard him talking. Oh, we're already there. Of course, we have the Concorde. Captain, I've just met an old couple who were going on holiday for their 50th wedding anniversary. It's so romantic. It is. Are you married, Captain? Uh, no, nope, never will be. <coughs> I was trying to describe the Concorde, and I, 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 I ultimately just decided to say it looks like a swan. It looks like a swan. But why, I, unfortunately, I must say they're pretty scary aircrafts. I must say I'm glad that they no longer fly, because when I look at the front of it, it looks really scary. It just gives me the chills for some reason. Or, you know, maybe the, tu the, the Tupolev uh, 2144, it's a Russian, it's the Russian version of the Concorde, the communist version of the Concorde, which also failed. kind of freaks me out when I look at them because they just and if you've ever seen the cockpit of these things the cockpits are crazy like you see our cockpit here right like look how simple our cockpit is right and then you all of a sudden you see the one of like the, the Concorde or whatever and your idea of complicated is just changed because, like, remember, it's got the old, like, basically, uh, imagine seeing this, but instead of having this, there's six of these right here. Six of these right here. Six of these things just over here. Imagine it all basically being these old kind of flipper dual, th um, like, dials and stuff like that, instead of these modernized computer screens, the LED screens. It's crazy. And then the old Boeing 747s. 
Oh, turn left 230, Delta 525. I was watching this aircraft. I was waiting for the bus in the morning, and I was watching this aircraft. It was literally flying <coughs> just above me. Uh, 128.5 Delta 525. And it was just flying almost just above me. And I noticed that it kind of like took a turn, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. It was late at night. There was no sun at all. It was so dark. No, not the boat through. Seven four seven one hundred cockpit. The thing about these aircrafts is that you know modern day EMPs will destroy these aircrafts. These old ones, because they're not all made with all these systems, they would actually probably survive in the world. I don't know. I like those ones. At what do I call it? Nine o'clock. Probably. Where? At 4 o'clock? Oh, I see him. He's in that. He's right over there. Delta 5-2 has the traffic. I s that's the same. Uh, probably, maybe it's that one? I don't see him. He had to be lower than us, eh? I don't see him. Why do you care if I see him? Look at this thing. He is nowhere to be found. Nine o'clock, right? Yeah, nine o'clock. Just down here, right? Yeah, nine o'clock. I'll just say I had the traffic because I don't see him, but you know, we're gonna lie. Stealing some stuff. I gotta have my own catering, you know what I'm saying? Oh, sorry. Sorry. My muffled voice. I gotta have my own catering, you know what I'm saying? Don't the pilots also get hungry? I'll turn my microphone when I can.
I actually don't know if you could hear anything I just said from all the way over there. I was literally standing on the other side of my desk being like, I'm gonna steal this. I mean, I know you could hear, I know you could hear me when I was throwing away that one bug in the one Project High Rise video. I was like standing right over here and y'all could, y'all could uh, hear me talking. Ooh. We might have to do three parts this episode. I don't know how long it is. I'm really only eating these cuts pretzels for the salt. I don't know why. I've got your hot meal here, Captain. I hope it's better than yesterday. Thank you. It is better than yesterday. You want to know why? Because yesterday you didn't get me one. Not anywhere in your last episode did she ever give me one. We're starting a descent, apparently, because we are getting close. The moment that we cross this area, we're going to be right at O'Hare. Chicago's just over there. That's Chicago. Alcohol makes passengers joyful. Good. So if we crash, people will be drunk. Nobody will know it. conversation that I shut my sound mixer off for.
descending. Oh, chill. Chill. Why are you all lagging real quick? Come on now. You guys did so well until like right now. What do you say to something, right? Chill out. Tell me what my altimeter setting is. I'll steal it from that person. Seven five five. We're passing transition altitude, Captain. Mark to air. No. We got a summon. Oh, yes, we do. Cargo. Oh, lag's going to be for real. We got a cargo 747 and a passenger gate, apparently. That's an old one. No, it's not. It's a. It's, just, it's actually a more modern one. Oh, and then we got this uh, J Japan Air. How oh, high this guy is. What, are, what is his flight level? I wonder. It's amazing. Airbus A340, uh, Virgin Atlantic. 
see those ones aren't working. I don't know. This guy waiting to taxi. An American. I think this is Chicago. I think this airport right here is Chicago Midway. This is Chicago Midway. This looks a little too small to be Chicago O'Hare. There's, oh, look, a Trijet. Awesome. I was actually hoping that I could find a Trijet. This is the 727. I think I was talking about it earlier. <clears throat> they no longer use these many Trijets for passengers anymore. I know they have some private airliners, and there are actually two... I want to say there are two Trijet aircrafts that run passengers that are still in service. The not the MD11 and not the MD10. The the D not the DC10 and the MD11. The DC10 and the MD11 used to, and I think the MD11 had the final passenger service in 2014. I think it was by KLM, Royal Dutch Airlines. Below 10,000 feet, Captain. Sounds good. Right, somewhere over here, I don't know. Nope. We'll speed up. Seven three seven version two. This got to be an old one. Continental. Right next to that seven four seven. Man, that that one comes close. There's that one taxiing out. And those two United aircrafts, that that Airbus A three nineteen over there. Do we got any Delta so they don't feel alone? Yes, we do. I think it's the same Delta. Yeah. Oh look, those two. Uh, no, it's not. That's not the right place. This is, I think this got to be, no. Yeah, I think this is Chicago Midway. It looks too small to be Chicago O'Hare. 727 Love. Let me take a picture of this one real quick. Japan Air, one zero heavy. Huh. Japan Air. Um, in Tower 3D, for anybody who plays Tower 3D, uh, the computer, I think they updated it to fix it, but it used to not know how to say Japan Air, so every time you'd say Japan Air, it would reply to you, Japan Air. Japan. Excuse me. Alright, this is gonna get a little interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna upload everything. I'm gonna have to look, because I feel like this is an extremely long video. Idle. Stay idle for me, please. Alright. I'll turn on all this stuff later. I forgot to turn on this stuff last episode, so I landed without it, but you know, whatever. It's lit up, so it wouldn't really make a difference. Oh, uh, so a little bit below us, eh? Is that 9 o'clock? Uh, I, I don't see, probably because it's so foggy. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. No, I don't, I don't see it. That was there. Well, now that I'm turning, it kind of makes it inaccurate. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's seven six seven. Go flight three zero zero two. 
Southwest. Love Southwest. Oh my god. I really like Southwest's livery. Logo lights. Man, stop. Airtran. That must be an older one. I think it's still in service. I don't know. Can we just see this aircraft fly? I, I want to see Trijet. I want to get a Trijet. I should probably find one. They probably have a good one. I want like a cargo so they can maybe do like a cargo flight. Something a little different. I swear the Airbus A300 looks a lot like the 737. Alright, and then we have all these other general aviation in the smaller port here. There's the runway, look at that thing. Pretty long runway. Actually, we actually have a general aviation. Oh, this is bad. We have a general aviation airport right near my house. It's just a little bit down the ways away. Across the street, an airplane actually crashed back in like the 50s and 60s. Because all this area that I live around used to be a part of a big farm. And um, it used to be part of a huge farm. And I remember my grandmother recalls being in the barn and we call milking a cow in the barn and then all of a sudden seeing an airplane coming straight at her taking out the roof and then landing in the field fortunately nobody was hurt and the airplane didn't like have like a horrible explosion or anything 2500 really? chill 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 jill Oh my god, because that guy was being a jerk, he was waiting. He's like, we're going to wait a few seconds before you actually clear him. Alright, this isn't good. It's so foggy. Oh my god, this is not fun. <laughs> I think that's our area. Ooh, it's a little bit, uh, all right, it's a little bit higher. I'm glad it's a little bit higher this time. We're gonna take ourselves down to 1,500 so that I can at least see ground. Oh my God, this is scary, I must admit. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be inbound for O'Hare in about five minutes. All right, we got to start moving our butts here. All right, let's turn. Oh, I don't want that far. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I don't want it. I don't want to get higher. I want to just stay low. All right, as long as we stay right here and we use our materials. <laughs> Air India. It sounded like he said Air, Re Air Arabia, which he, he probably could have. Air India. Ah, this is not safe. I'm not even going to do it. What do we got here? 737 700s are really excited for some reason. We have a lot of 737. 1,000. Good man. Oh my god, we have another aircraft over there. Look at that. Do you see that aircraft just there? Oh my god, this is water. This is water. This is water. We're coming in so fast. That's water. I thought we were already above Chicago. What the heck?
Now you see, if I had a co-pilot, this wouldn't be such an issue. Come on, get me lined up, man. This is water. It actually scared me when I saw the water. I saw the water, and I'm like, oh my god, we are in the wrong. The airplane is in the right. Alright, now all we gotta do is hope and pray that nobody gets in our way. We have an aircraft just... That's a cloud. Never mind. Woo! Should I have flex 3? I'm not sure. I don't want to gain any altitude. I want to just remain at flight level one five, uh, 015. So... I had to choose the worst day. As you know, this is real weather. So as of right now, as of Saturday, 5.13 p.m., it is currently really foggy in O'Hare Airport. So this is real weather that we're looking at. So what an airport is doing, what an airport, what a pilot is doing right now is what they're doing in real life. So is what I'm doing. So can you get a little scary? Reason I will never be a pilot. Cause you, you think I can do this crap? You think I can like, you, you know. Thanks, but nah, I don't know. Let's put it this way. Get me on, a, let, get me, let me fly on days that are just like perfectly fine and then I'll show you like a luxury flight. What was that? My dog just made like a groan that was the scariest thing ever. Woo! Go. Really low. Where are we? All right, we are not even on land yet. This is scary. Sorry, but I don't like being above water when I'm coming into land. All right, we're currently manualing this thing in. Isn't that where we're landing? Aha! City! That's like the best thing I've ever seen is land. What happened? Chill. Oh, I see. Maybe I did something in it, like... For some reason, I like totally... One thousand. Chill. One thousand. No. I don't want to get two thousand. Oh, whoa. My God. Gear yeah. down. Nah, we don't need gear down yet. Let's not gear deer down. Let's not get deer down yet. Deer, deer. Yeah, that's the right word. Deer. Man, this is a little nerve-wracking. I don't know if that's the right idea, but, you know, whatever. You should see, on a normal day, you could see the Willis Tower from here. I know they added the Willis Tower. I think it's right there. It's that one building that's right... Oh, we're gaining... Oh, oh Jesus. Gear down. We're going to put our gear down, and we're going to descend this crap. Woo! There we are. Look, this is some positive weather. It's positive enough for me, I must say. I don't like this lag. This lag is making me a little nervous. Maybe it's not lagging. Maybe it's just me imagining things. I want to be perfectly 1, aligned with the runway so that I can use my visuals. If for some reason, 1, you know, weather starts to become bad and negative, there's O'Hare just up ahead. You can see it. I think we're a little too low. 
Gear up. Remember, gear adds drag, so, you know, obviously we don't want to have gear. Chill out, man. I don't see the runway. Do I even have it written in? Yeah, I do. I have. Oh, chill, 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 chill. Oh, chill. Don't, don't, don't. Look, we're going over that freeway. Are you sure it's right ahead? That doesn't look right. Oh, I see what it's doing. That doesn't seem right. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. All right, I see what I'm doing incorrectly. I'm supposed to be inbound for here. Chill the freak out, airplane. Wait a minute, let's pause the game real quick. Where are we supposed to be going? There's no runway over there. I see, it's supposed to be that one. That's runway 27, right? And that must be 27 left over there. All right, I'm doing. I'm doing as I. All right. Maybe that's two seven. I don't know why this is doing. Whatever. Why do we have a whatchamacallit on the runway? I lied, we don't. Ah, nice. I like it. I like how he just said, watch the aircraft on final. This is a better, this is a little better. I'm a little more confident. We're going a little fast, though. I like how I'm holding the brakes as if that's going to do anything. 1,000. Too high. Too high. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're too fast, I think. Oh, my God. Some people might be crapping them. Look. See, look. This is perfect. The lag is freaking me out a little bit, though. I must admit. Don't gain. Don't gain. Don't gain. 500. This is good. This is good. I like it. We seem to be doing pretty well. We're definitely not as high as we were last episode. 300. Approaching minimums. 200. Minimums. 100. 100. Oh man, this 60, is such a perfect 50, landing. 40. 50, 30. 40, 20. 30, retard. 30. Retard. That was a rough landing. Set. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to do that. That, sorry. Oh my God. Oh wow, that was a good flight. That was. Put everything in its two sisters to stop us again. Ah. Uh. Eighty knots. Two, oh. that one thousand feet. Sixty knots. Ah. That was awesome. Man, that was a good landing. That was a good landing. That was my best landing so far. Most realistic landing I've ever had in this game. I want to play more, but I'm definitely not going to record more today. Oh, sorry. Are you going around? Oh my god, that must have been violent. Do we have a guy going around? Do we force somebody? Yeah, no, maybe. 
flying with us today and hope you will join us again. All right, let's park right here for one second. I think we got somebody taken off over there. Oh, no, please don't do this. Okay, good. Uh, what am I doing? One, two, decimal six, seven, five. Delta 525, Chicago Ground, Delta 525 is with you, requesting a taxi to the gate. Alright. Juliet Hotel. What does it want me to do? Lima 5? Let me see if I can find it. It wants me to go... Alright. Juliet Hotel. Not that way. Hotel, which is that one. Juliet to Papa, which is... Oh my goodness, that... Wow, look at that. Oh, look, that aircraft coming down. Look, he's high up there. All right, let's request a whatchamacallit. Um, Lima, oh, Lima 5. Boom, there he is. Uh, let's have American. Oh, don't lag on me right now. It's because it's got to load everything in. Chill out. 13 frames per second. You should probably expedite a little more just so that they have space, eh? Press a follow me vehicle. This went pretty well. There he is. Now where where did that one aircraft just go? Did he do like a touch and landing and he just took there he is. Uh, that guy might be have to go around. Look at all the traffic we got here. All right, let's follow this guy. We will turn on APU while we're at it, just so that we can get that started up, so that when we, uh, you know, want to deboard the aircraft, we don't have like a whole bunch of people being like, "Oh my God, there's no power. How are we gonna get out?" Is that guy going around? Doesn't look like he's going around. I was so scared that this was going to be a bad landing because of all the fog. But that was actually pretty good. I mean, I must admit. Probably my most realistic landing I've ever had. Ah, uh, don't worry, ain't nobody coming on this one today. Watch I say that, and then all of a sudden that one air disaster that happened, like... There he is, that guy landed. That American Eagle. Approaching, zero, four, left. There he is, just over there. Aero Mexico. I didn't know Aero Mexico did flights all the way this up north. We have an Air Canada, American Eagle. Phone's going off. Hope that isn't anything too important. Importante. Oh, jeez. Chicago, ground, zero Mexico, six, 
Why isn't... Alright, he gonna let me go then? Fine. You hear that? That's what I get on the phone every day. Beep. Alright, I'm gonna... I don't wanna hit this guy. He's coming out really, really close. I'm just gonna go this way just in case. Seems like the arrivals have stopped for right now, at least. We got that one aircraft. Looks like he might be taking off right now, so that's cool. How fast are we going? Well, gotta watch my speed here. There he is, taking off that American, that uh, other American Eagle. Whoop! He should be rotating shortly. I don't know how people can taxi in this game in third person. I can't do it. I can't do anything on the ground, anything that involves movement, or anything navigation-wise in third person. No, I, I don't know how you do it. I need, I like, I need to see. Like, I can't land without all this view. You. you know what I'm saying? Like, without this view, I can't land. It's not, it's not possible. I don't know how people can do it without this view. There's that guy coming out. He should probably be taken off shortly as well. That Air Canada. Let me slow down as I'm turning this taxiway just so we don't absolutely kill ourselves. I am working on a mod spreadsheet, by the way. I do not know how long it's going to take me to create. I haven't worked on it very much. As of right now, it's an idea. It's not reality yet. But I want to just be able to say, like, here's a mod spreadsheet, you, everything's on there. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, like, putting every series and every mod individually. You know what I'm saying? I can just put it on all in one spreadsheet, and it's there. No need to even think about, like, oh, well, maybe this is incorrect, or just got to update it, and it's already updated for every series, you know, or for every episode, you know? Because, like, the thing with LSPDFR is, like, if I get a new mod on episode one, it's not going to update the description to say, hey, this is the mod he has now. These are all the mods he's using. Where's that Aero Mexico? Look, there's uh, an A380, I think that is. That's not an A380. 737 short final. Man, that is a mouthful. Mike 5, Delta, Alpha 16, Alpha, Alpha 14, Bravo, Alpha 13, Alpha. <laughs> I bet you this probably could have been something more similar, uh, more similar, more simpler than all that. Mojo, Jumbo, Bumbo, Boombo, whatever. So we have our APU, and while it is using more fuel, it is what we need to use right now. Is that a Concorde? Alright, gotta watch my speed. Let's just slow all the way down here. I swear that Anna, Anna aircraft looked like a... It looked a lot like a uh, Concorde from this angle. Oh look, there's all of our stuff, yay. Woohoo! I thought he... What did he just say? I thought he just said gamut, hold short. Damn it, hold short. Runway 27. He's probably saying it because it's such a whole mock full of words. I gotta slow this thing down, my god. I gotta like, I gotta like destroy the wheels on this thing. My god, the brakes are gonna die. Do we have... No, we don't. That's just typical. Oh, no. No, we don't. That's typical. I was hoping we could get a jetway, but apparently not. It's fine, I guess. Oh, look. There's an aircraft taking off up there. Well, that's cool. Man, I gotta slow this thing down. Woo! Alpha, Alpha, 1, 2, Mike, 2, Mike, Mike, 7, American, 3, 8, 4, 
All right, engines will shut off. That wasn't a very good parking. What? That was perfectly centered. Look at this. Almost perfectly centered. Look, it was perfect. What are you talking about? This guy's a jerk. All right, let's... Ground services get all this stuff put in there. Exit power. So then we can activate that. All right, let me make sure that all that stuff's added. You know, that ground crew did as I told them. Yes. All right. There's APU turning off. Awesome. Sounds amazing. There's a blast fence behind us. Have not seen a blast fence in forever. Oh, all right. Let's request deboarding. Perfect. All right. Now we are starting to deboard people. Please make your way to the exit and ensure you have all your personal items. People are currently jumping out of the aircraft. People are currently jumping out of the aircraft. That one person who must have jumped out of the aircraft. That's awesome. I'll let you guys watch uh, the departing or whatchamacallit, whatever. Hula, whatever. Just as, you know, they're they're currently getting all of our cargo out. Look at this. WestJet. Oh, I like how it, I like how it keeps. Like, if your boarding before you started the flight was WestJet, it keeps it as WestJet. That's really cool. I like that. So, we have Delta here, don't we? Why, why aren't we being serviced by Delta? I don't know what they're thinking. Whatever, so it's a similar airline, but better. American. Actually, now they're pretty good. So right now, some people are jumping off of the aircraft, probably. All they need to do is just walk to that little thing right there, and then they'll be leaded up to a stairway. I wish all this was, uh, like, uh, jetway. It's unfortunate that the only parking I get sent to is the one that doesn't have a jetway. My god. Why? Oh my god, alright. We made it. We're alive, at least. I gotta say, at least we're alive, right? You can hear some of the people talking in the back, too. Everybody's so happy. Alright, there. This guy's gonna be loading that. There he is driving away with all the cargo. Seems like we're still unloading some cargo here, so. Look at that, that looks amazing. I should take a picture of this. My question is, is while you're moving this one in place, why don't you move this one out of place too? Right? Like, you're moving that one in place. You could move this one and make things go faster a little bit. I would think at least, right? Maybe, maybe not. We are parked right next to that uh, 777, I think it is. 737 Old American Airway uh, airline. Yeah, we do have a guy on short final right there. Look at that guy. 
Oh my god, there's two aircrafts on shore final. What did they think they were doing? Oh my god, this is a little bit of a disclaimer. Look at this. What do they think they're doing? They're all, they're both inbound for the same runway. There's that American. Is he going around? No, he's not. He's going to have a hard landing. My goodness. No, he's not. He's going around. He's going around. That guy got shoved off. And that guy's definitely going to get shoved off, right? Yeah, he's going around. I was not expecting it. No, he's landing. Yeah, that guy landed. I wonder why he, that guy was shoved off. Do you see that? He was, uh, he was shoved, he, he was forced to go around. If we were con, if we were on tower, we could hear what they were talking about. Whatever they were saying. Alright, this guy will go away. Full of cargo, that's amazing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for the Delta Flight 525 to O'Hare from Charlie Yankee, Yankee Zulu. Man. Alright, I don't know what this guy thinks he's doing. He's probably going to do some really janked up crap. He's going to do some janked crap. Wow, it's getting dark. My gosh. I was playing this. I don't know how long this video is. I'm probably going to just end up uploading all of it, but man, that was, this, was, this was a good flight. A very nice one. Boom, everybody's off. All right. All right, sounds good. Let's go up here. End the flight. See what we did. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I hope you guys can. It was an exceptional flight. Only exceptional. Better mood because they have food. Please, there was music. Wonder if they had landed. Really? I did. That was a good landing, though. That was pretty good. CYYZ in Canada to Chicago in the United States. How, how many hours was this? Uh, oh, okay. So in total, we were here for about two hours. Wow. I really thought we were there for less time. I don't know if you guys can see any of this, but I'll just explain it to you. So ticket income, $23. Uh, cargo income, 2000 Oh, no, 23000 for f ticket income. 2000 for cargo income. 1000 for services. And we had a cost of 759 for services, you know, the food. And the fuel cost of Jet A1 fuel was 6000 Airport taxes for a large aircraft. Apparently, this is a huge aircraft. Insurance. Uh, and our total income was 19177 That's 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 really, really nice. All right. So in total, real life, we would have had about 958000 Wow, that's nice. Considering that this flight was perfect, the ticket price low was perfect. The ticket price low. The service is good and the service quality bad. Passengers on this flight think that your company reputation... Oh, that's awesome. Co wow, reputation of 100%. Your company reputation is now 69.883%. 3.02% increase. We had a penalty. A penalty because we made a hard landing. And the aircraft sustained damage. That's right, I forgot to repair the aircraft from last episode. Perfect flight, no problems. Very satisfied, that's good. Alright, let's record this flight, that's awesome. Alright, and that's going to do it for us for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Next episode, we're going to be taking off from right here. Hopefully I can take off, I'm, gonna, I, I'm thinking about maybe moving myself over to this gate next episode. Um, but that's going to do it for us for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, we're going to be going to Detroit. Or, no, we're going to be going to Akron Canton International Airport. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace. Oh, you know, though, I did forget to do this. I did forget to shut off my aircraft. That sucks if you forget to shut off your aircraft. Let's, we don't even need that anymore. That's using fuel. Let's shut off our aircraft, because we are not going to be using our aircraft for a while. Anyways, see you on the next episode. Peace.